too much stuff on my table. Cup of coffee. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. <clears throat> hey guys, so we're out in the shop tonight and I've been wanting to make a spoon. And I'm really not sure what kind of wood to make a spoon out of, to be honest with you. This is a fairly nice little piece. It has a couple of knots, but I think we could chip it all away. It's one of the nicer pieces I have. Uh, and I have some that are all, I have the bark all off them, but I think what I'm going to try to do is split this down and see what the inside looks like. We could probably come up with a couple different ideas to do this. I do believe, I want to say that's a piece of maple. So that's what we're going to try to do is split this down and see what the inside looks like. I'm thinking about just using a hatchet with a rubber mallet to tap it down and see how we look. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Oh, it's a long way down, guys. Got old Faithful here. I'm trying to think of the best way to do it to get me a square. Oh, that's not going to be very square, is it? Let's keep trying. See what happens. Not breaking off very square. Well, on a good note, we're getting pieces we can throw on the stove. Oh, this might be a lot of whittling. See if we can't get a little more off. Go from this direction. I do see a split going down the middle. So we'll utilize that area that's already split. There we go. So, this may work. I just got to figure it out. Get that piece off. Yeah, it's definitely maple. Definitely maple. So, I'll bring you back after I get it figured out. I need to get a nice flat side to work with and work from there. So, we've got two pieces laid out here, guys. I'm going to attempt to smooth them both out. I'm going to try to use as many hand tools as possible, not using any kind of electric stuff. And hopefully it will turn out good. So what I'm thinking, and... Bear with me that I am not the best artist in the world, but, you know, kind of like giving us a rough draft. I want kind of a big spoon, and it's not easy to draw on this. Something kind of like this. Kind of a big handle. Maybe make it rounded. Maybe put a hole in it. Something kind of like that. I've got another piece just in case I mess up. But we're going to have to take a lot of this excess wood off. And kind of level her out a little bit. I'm thinking the hatchet will do the best. I think I hear my ladybird whining. So I might have to go grab her. Hang on. So we're going to cut a little bit off with the handsaw just to make this a little easier. But it's going to shake the camera real bad and everything because I got it on my table. So I'll bring you back when I'm done. So we cut us a little bit closer. I didn't cut it 
long wise because I thought that would take too long. <clears throat> so we're going to start kind of whittling on it a little bit. And let's play around with the razor a little bit. So let's start with the handle, I guess. Start working it a little bit at a time. I don't know how well you can see me. But I'm just going to do long cuts for it at first. And we'll just kind of work it out. Well, not other Give it to where I don't have to use my hand to hold it. I get a little worried every once in a while about that kind of stuff. Don't you steal any of my firewood, kid. Alright, so I'm going to play with it for a little while and I'll get back to you. Alright, I want to show you guys. You always got to be careful. That was just a little slip. So, that's why we carry a first aid kit out in the shop. <clears throat> you know, they say when you're building something, if you don't shed blood on it, you didn't really try. And it always amazes me, the littlest cuts can bleed the most. But they sure do. <clears throat> Gotta be honest with you, this is... Don't get near that. Hey, don't you steal my firewood. Got Lady out here with us. And I don't want to use that. Burn cream... Let's just get a band-aid for it. I think we'll survive. I do believe we will survive. Hell, if I don't bleed to death before I get the band-aids open. Look at did you see how much trouble this is? Uh. Sorry guys, the big camera died. I don't know. Been having issues with it. Lady, please lay down. So, you guys didn't get to see it, but the first spoon broke. And I didn't know the camera wasn't recording. So I started a smaller one. More working it more with the hand tools and stuff like that. My knife and everything. And trying to figure out how to get it to look right. But I've noticed... Uh, I've got a little bitty hole in the middle, but it does not go through to the bottom, but it might connect to that hole right there. I don't know. I hate to stop. I really wish I could find my razor blade set, because it would be a lot easier to work with, but, you know, you do what you do. And, <coughs> excuse me, hoping this turns out all right it's gonna be a wobbly looking spoon for my very first one but I've never actually tried to whittle a spoon and it's hard to do anything when you have a dog right here staring at you and you're trying not to cut her nose off because she doesn't understand go lay down today we just don't understand it so I wish I had my big camera I'm gonna keep Whittling away at it, making it look a little better each. Definitely want to get me some decent sandpaper. But check that out. If it comes out neat, it's got a really neat looking thing on it. I will warn you guys, this is going to be a couple day adventure because I'm going to end up running out of time. And that's just the way it works, so. I'm going to keep working on it, and I will get back to you guys. And I'm, if you notice, I'm leaving this part really big, so if my sides break, maybe I can still try to finish it. But does it look terrible? Does it look horrible? Does it look very amateurish? I'm trying not to use any of my power tools or anything like that and just do it all by hand. But, I mean, come on, guys. Give me some kind of credit. It's my first spoon, okay? I'll get back with you guys later. So we're still continuing on it. 
don't think it's bad for my first try. Uh, getting the spoon hollowed out is a little difficult. I wish I had like a more of a spoon knife, but I don't have that with me right now. It'll be something else I add to the list of buying stuff. Um, I'm not sure how good my wood is. Here comes my dog again. But it is taking shape. And we're going to keep working on it, of course. It should look really interesting as long as these holes. Oh, shit! As long as, see, the, what I got, a little buggy. So I'm hoping that's not all the way through the spoon. I don't think so. But we're going to find out. But all you can really do, guys, is just keep hacking away at it until it looks right. You know? One day this skill might be a very valuable thing to have. I just think it'd be kind of cool to have all, you know, my own stuff and all wooden. And I think it'd be really neat. Probably doing it all back ass words. But it's my first time and I guarantee the next one will look better because I'll figure something else out. I would also like to make me a cook set as well. And I have a nice piece but it's still green. So I need to let it dry out. But I'm just going to keep hammering away at this. And I'll bring you guys back in a little bit before I quit for the day. Okay guys, we're a little farther now. This is not going to be a very long video. I'm just doing it in little clips. I'm trying to use my phone. But got it kind of dug out. And it's, it's starting to take shape. I think it's going to be too big for a spoon for your mouth. So this is going to be a cooking spoon. It's just too damn big. I have a very big mouth, but, you know, ain't going to work. But I'm going to continue with it working on it. It has some interesting designs on it, but uh, I think it's got a hole through it. getting there it's just I don't know how much the other video made it through a phone came through on my phone a phone came through a call came through on my phone so it's too big for your mouth I think I'm gonna have to whittle it down smaller and I'm afraid the structure and integrity of this is not gonna hold that I'm just not for sure what's gonna happen yet but we'll see but I got this hole right here and I'm afraid it goes all the way through so like when you scoop something, it will leak. But I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll get back to you guys. So, my camera keeps taking a poop on me. And not wanting to work properly. I keep having to resort back to using the good old-fashioned phone for a video. But I don't really like using my phone for a video. For the simple fact, you got the bars on the side of the video and you just don't see a big enough screen. So, I'm going to take closer pictures so you guys can see. We did work on our spoon some more. And unfortunately, there's a hole in it where a little critter has chewed through to the bottom. So, it's a spoon that won't hold water. But for my first try of trying to make a spoon, one, like I said out earlier, it's way too big in this part here. So, I mean, you could have used this for, like, the cooking part of it. But I was going to shape this down more and make it smaller. But there's no real point when there's a hole in it. Um, like I said with me, guys, you see my wins and you see my fails. And this is kind of a fail, but not bad for a first, you know, first try at doing this. So, I'm going to end this with, you know... It was a good idea. We just need to do it smaller. Which I could have made it a lot smaller because there's still a lot of meat down here that we could have shaved off and would have been able to make it a much better spoon. But with the hole in the middle, you know, there's just not much point to shave it down the rest of the way. But I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. Because even though it was a fail, it was, it was my first try. I really do need to find a different kind of wood. Something that's not so buggy. 
So I hope you guys like this little video. I'm not going to ramble very long. Um, I would like to throw this out there. Thank you for all the new subscribers that have recently got into my channels. They recently got onto my channel, you know what I mean. And um, we're going to be doing a giveaway here in a little while. I just got to figure out what I'm going to give away. So, uh, Bushcraft Rebel, telling you guys to have a good weekend. And try to get outside, guys. I'll see you later.